I promised you I'd call out my friend, so. Is there a Feraligator? Yo, it's a shiny Feraligator! Please don't be like level 80. This thing looks amazing though. Butterfree, go! Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. Up to guys, a brand new episode of Pokemon Xenoverse Nuzlocke once again. If you guys are excited for this one, I know you guys are. Smash that like button down below. You guys already know we need 6,000 likes for that bonus episode on Sunday, so don't miss it. You want that bonus episode, I know you guys do. And if you don't, I don't know what you're doing. And I did read the comments, and a lot of people wanted Raiden to stay on the team. So despite my best beliefs here, I am gonna bench Medieval for now, our, uh, our rock friend, Excalibur, and that's because we did have two fairies. Uh, so I think that that's fair. I'm gonna have Raiden on the team for now. I think that's a good bet. I'll put Acrobatics back on it. Should be good to go. And one thing I wanted to tell you guys is, one, knock on wood, that nothing goes wrong with this recording or any of the stuff that I'm doing. For those who did not see on Twitter, I actually did get hacked. Um, I, I really, I wish I had more information other than that. Um, I think this person actually gives me, yes, the choice specs. I read the comments for that. That's big, we just got choice specs. Um, I read the comments, or actually rather, let me, let me, yeah, I read the comments for the choice specs, but uh, I did get hacked actually over the last uh, last few days, last week. Um, I posted on Twitter about it, and I kind of explained everything there. I had to re, I had to wipe my entire computer. So that was pretty crazy, as you can imagine. I had to wipe my entire computer. I had to go through and change every password of everything I had and all sorts of stuff. And just be really vigilant online, guys. That's all I can say. Um, luckily, I had the brain to remember to grab my save file for Xenoverse. <laughs> Can you imagine if we just straight up lost the save file? Oh my god, that would have been devastating. But luckily, I still have it. Here's the Samuel Oak Airport. Is that what it's called? The Samuel Oak Airport. So, listen, I see what's her name right in front of us. Do we have to battle her? Let's just find out. Hey, Drive, were you still in town? I would have liked to see Wallace Daddy's concert, but I had to do for some stuff for Aster. What about you? Hey there, Adrav, were you still in town? I would have really liked to see Wallace Daddy's concert, but I still have a lot to do for Aster and I missed it. What about you? You managed to see him live and get his badge? Wow! I didn't know you were a fan of his, but your victory doesn't surprise me anymore. I also became stronger since last time, you know? Alright, so it looks like we are gonna throw down against Alice. It has been a little while, but we know she's got that Pika. We'll have to see how this goes. She's only got four Pokemon. Let's see who she's gonna lead off with. She's got a Hair Oak, which is exactly what I have. How about that? Um, now of course the Pokemon I would normally switch into this thing is no longer on the team, so that's fun. Um, why don't I go for a spark here and just kind of see what happens. Hit him with a nice little spark attack, do a little bit of damage, let's see what he's gonna do. He's gonna Thunderbolt me, okay. Okay, so that did a solid chunk of damage, but nothing too crazy. You know, why don't we go Ryoko here? Why don't I go Ryoko? We know Ryoko is our bulkiest member. If he goes for a Thunderbolt again, I can take it pretty well. Because we obviously are going to resist it, and we're just we're just a bulky boy. Um, why don't we go for Dragon Breath? He's going to Drill Peck me, which doesn't really do that much. This thing is so bulky. And we don't really do much back either, though. Um, yeah, I think I just Dragon Breath again. The only thing is here that's really annoying is if he has something like... Roost, he's gonna be very annoying. I'm gonna Dragon Breath one more time. He's gonna Drill Peck me. We live it. I'm gonna have to heal that off. No big deal. And I do get a Para on him, which is really nice. So I can knock him out here. Let's go for it. Yeah, let's just get the KO on this thing. Obviously, I probably could have healed, but I'd rather just get the KO. Although in hindsight, probably should have healed, to be honest. Here comes Pikachu. Now this thing is, we believe it to be Fairy. It's Fairy and Sound or something like that. Why don't I just go Terror? Yeah, why don't we just go Terror here? Terror is the big boy. So he should be able to take him on. He's got Dazzling Gleam. Terror eats that up though, like a boss. Why don't we go for Shadow Ball? Moonblast! Okay, a little stronger than Dazzling Gleam. We took it pretty well. And we get a big Shadow Ball off and almost knock it out. Okay. I do have potions. So let's use this opportunity to heal up Terror just to play it safe. And here comes a Moonblast again. And we might get a Quick Claw boost. Let's get the Quick Claw. I don't get it, so I'm gonna have to take another Moon Blast. We get a special attack drop, which means I do have to switch out, but I will get rid of the Pika here. Cute little Pika. All right, so there's two down. What else you got? An Eevee. Just an Eevee, okay. Well, the thing is, Eevee does often get bite. It's definitely something to be mindful of. Why don't I go Lancelot? 
Because then I can just hammer arm it. I might not have an item on Ancelot. We might have to check that. He does have bite, as expected. All right. Um, let's hammer arm. He's got bite again. No flinch. Hammer arm should just obliterate the ZV. But that tells me that she is going to evolve this thing at some point into a Nibelution. Maybe it's going to be the sound one that we saw. And here comes Hysteric. Now, I don't know much about this thing. I do think it's Psychic type, but I think if I just U-turn, we're probably fine. He's going to Encore me into Hammer Arm, so... And I missed. Um, I'll probably switch out here, to be honest. Uh, let's just go Vibrato. Her team's really not that strong, I feel like. Uproar. Okay, that's a sound move. But we take it pretty well. And this thing... I have a feeling that Alice is going to end up being really good. But she's just got to do some evolving. Because her team has some, some sick mons on it. But I think they just need to evolve. So, anyway, we beat Alice. That wasn't too bad. And, yeah, I'm one step ahead. You know, we do what we can. One step ahead of those hackers, too. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. I shouldn't say that. Knock on wood again. Wow, you sure don't hold back? I'm just kidding. You know, I always enjoy seeing you and fighting you. I really have to go, though. See ya. Dang, she really booking out of here, ain't she? Alrighty. Well, let me go back and heal, and then we'll come back here. I guess we're headed into the airport. Let's see who's in here. Oh, there's a big, like, globe there. Oh, I don't know what you're saying, bro. I don't know what you're saying. My friend and I are on a shopping spree. Oh. And I'm gonna get the Silk Scarf, which is, uh, boosting normal moves. Normally, you get this, actually, really early in games, but this game, I guess they just give it to you late. Right before checking, I found this nice Bulbasaur in the Cluster Jungle. Ooh, we might be headed somewhere sick, dude. Oh, God, this dude's in bat in line, and he wants to battle me. I did not expect to battle a random dude in line. He looks like, uh, the guy from... What's his name? Max or whatever? Uh, he was a Pokemon protagonist. He, like, hung out with Ash. I don't remember his name. Maybe it's not Max. I don't know. I skipped that season, though. Looks like that dude. Well, anyway, this guy's gonna get bopped. He's got a spear tube, though. Like, that's kind of cool. But, listen, Acrobatics is gonna... Oh, he's gonna sucker punch me. I should take this, though. We're very physically bulky. We just gotta remember that. Like, our physical bulk, very good. Special bulk, eh, you know... Well, I'll take that level from the Spear Tomb. See you later, bro. Ooh, Raiden's trying to learn Tailwind. Honestly, I think that's a good bet. I'm gonna give him Tailwind over Spark. I think that having Tailwind on the team could be beneficial in, like, a gym battle or something. So I guess we'll rock with that. Oh, wow. You can actually exit out onto the airport, which is where we are right now. And there's trainers and stuff out here, too. Jeez. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I just, like, I'm kind of wandering around right now. But let's battle this person, too. All right, so she had a chat on, and now she's got a low punny. And I tell you what, these low punnies scare me, because the last time we faced a low punny, it was actually a lot stronger than I thought. We're going to the legendary Lancelot here. He's going to take a headbutt. That just, I mean, he crit me. That just does so much. Headbutt again. Don't flinch me this time. Yeah, that's, this is why we have Lancelot, right? Takes a hit and just obliterates back. Loving it. Loving it. Yo, this trainer has a Brion. Things I did not expect to see. I bet this thing is sound type as well. Which means I probably... Well, I don't even know what type it would be. Is it sound type? Is it... I have no idea. Let's go into... I feel like I could see it being water sound. Maybe? Instead of fairy? He's gonna round. Oh, you know what? Aren't we weak to that, though? Oh! Okay. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, alright. Let's go into Ryoko, assuming that he's sound water instead of fairy? And he's gonna round again. And if I remember my types, that we take that really well. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's dragon breath in then. But I'm um, see, this is where I get scared because he could he could very see that didn't even super effective. So he's probably pure water then in this case. I don't know. He's just gonna do it again. It's not really an issue. Our amazing pseudo snake Ryoko firing away dragon breath. She's a legend. Don't sleep on her. And we'll clean up that Brienne pretty easily. What else you got for me? trainer is gonna send out a Bremen and this is the electric one so we'll just dragon breath him too because he should be weak to this yeah that's what I want to see and the para and he's gonna screech us but we can knock him out in the next turn dude shout outs to this little baby Ryoko here she struggled so hard in this playthrough and now is like the best thing on the team uh, needs better attacks but otherwise very strong see you later Zoe I feel like I missed stuff inside the airport, if I'm being honest. I'm gonna look around a little bit more and then we'll come back here now that I know this is the way to get out. All right, I went and talked to everybody in the airport, so we got that sorted now. Um, I feel confident that we can continue to look around. Now, I don't know if I can get in that grass. Oh, I can. Okay, so we do get a new encounter here in the airport. 
Um, which is exciting for sure. And I don't, what is this? There's just Kadoons chilling here? Oh, I gotta battle this guy. Why are, oh, do you get to race these Kadoons? Or are those flags? I don't know what's going on there. Well, let's battle this person. He's got a Charmander. Oh my God, they got all the cool stuff. I want some of these. I'm curious how much acrobatics does to a Charmander. A lot is the answer, see you later. Sheeran, are you DJ Sheeran? Oh, those are flags on the pole, okay. So I have an encounter down there, we know that. And then I think we are actually headed towards a jungle. I gotta battle this guy too. So I'm gonna grab my encounter, I think, for the airport, and then we'll move forward. Let me battle this influencer with his gotcha gaju! This thing is ice electric, right? Um, all right, well that tells me I should switch out. Ice and electric. Maybe I can go into, I mean, honestly, Lancelot or Fibrato. No, we don't want to take a hit with Fibrato. Maybe, uh, Paper Cuts? Let's go Lancelot. I could just hammer arm him or earthquake him maybe. Let's see. He's getting over Tickle, so he'll drop our attack and our defense, but that's not really a huge issue. I would imagine I still one-shot anyway if I just go for Hammer Arms, so that's what I'm gonna do. And he's got Frost Breath, which is always gonna crit us on the special side. That's a lot. I think this one-shots him, though. Yeah, even with the attack drop, we're good. Still one-shot the gut. Gotcha, Gachu! Oh, he's got static. Okay, well then. Thanks, Gotcha, Gachu. And we get a level there, and here comes Halucha. Why, guys? Why is it that now that I've taken fighting and flying, okay. Why is it that now that I've taken Medieval off the team, I feel like I need him so badly right now? What is going on with this? He's gonna bounce, that's really a non-issue. Um, I will go for acrobatics. He is slower. He's gonna paralyze himself anyway. Wait, he paralyzed me! What is that shenanigans? Oh my gosh, and now I can't hit him. And this is just a whole, whole shebang. Don't you dare, there you go, all right. Goodbye, Lucha. Let's get that encounter, guys. I wanna see what we find here at the airport. There could be some cool Pokemon here. And Lancelot the 46 wants to learn Smackdown. Nah, no, I don't want Smackdown. Uh, yes, stop learning it. Okay, let's go get that encounter. All right, let's grab that encounter. What do we got in the grass for the airport? It is a Shockbird. Womp, gotta get another one. Whoa, a Masco! Oh my God, this is a different one, but that's Dupes Claws again, team. All right, well, we'll have to see what else is here, but that's like a Bouffalon mascot. I wonder if I acrobatics him, do we just knock him out? Yeah, see you later, buddy. All right, well, we gotta get an encounter, because that's not it. Obviously, Dupes Claws. Those mascots are sick, but let's see what we can find. Whoa, it's a Porygon! Yo, that's actually kind of dope, dude. Okay, so he gets a special attack boost. I have to be very careful. Um, why don't I go terror and weaken him with terror? Dude, that's a sick encounter getting a Porygon. He's gonna recover. Okay, so we know he's got recover. That could be a little bit annoying. Let's see how much Grass Knot does. I don't anticipate this knocks him out by any stretch of the imagination. Oh! Okay, I have severely underestimated terror's strength there. Wow, all right, let's just chuck Ultra Balls. This is gonna be hard to catch, guys. A card on the first Ultra Ball. <laughs> I'm over here thinking this thing is gonna be so hard to catch, but we got a Porygon. That's a high pickup, dude. Pure normal. Uh, we're gonna name it Twitch. But I gotta say, this could be really good, dude. Like, I do have an Eviolite, obviously, right now we're using it, so it's not a good time to, like, take advantage of that Eviolite, but I'm just saying, like, we could potentially use that thing in the future. Porygon 2 with Recover is stupid good, guys. Like, honestly, one of the best things that we could have. So, anyway, let's move forward. We gotta see what's going on up here ahead in this jungle area or whatever we're about to face since we're not riding the airplanes. I think this is where we're going. So, I think I talked to you already. I did. So, what is this? This is wild Pokemon appear more frequently. Uh, yeah, I understand how tall grass works. And then there's this thing. And now we're on round nine. We're straight up in a jungle now. And who knows what's coming now. There's a, you should find a way across the stream. Out of my way. Dud. Whoa, who's this? He's got a Decidueye. Watch your step, you darn. Wait, what's a citizen doing here? Maybe I could work with him despite daddy. Hehe. <laughs> Did you get lost, mister? Who's this kid? 
Oh, gotcha. So you need to cross the stream to get to Dorado Village, don't you? Well, incidentally, I have a friend here and I think he might help you, but you know it hates wimps. It'll never help him. If you prove me to not to be a wimp in a battle, maybe I'll help you out. How about that? Come on, Decidueye, let's make this one bite to the dust. All right, I guess I'm battling this kid and his Decidueye. He's only got one mon, though. And it's probably the Decidueye. That's a level 45 Decidueye, though. Like, that's actually not a joke. Uh, Raiden should be okay here to just acrobatics. Twice, maybe? Oh, that was so close. Don't you knock me out with this. Oh, not even close. I can't escape now, but we're good. We had the perfect Pokemon out front to make that easy. Spirit Shackle Decidueye is no joke, though. I'll take it. Big XP there. And we beat the Wild Boy pretty easily. Ouchie! Are you okay, Decidueye? I think he's all right, homie. I better keep him quiet. Oh, gee, you could have said you were strong earlier. I promised you I'd call out my friend, so. Is it a Feraligator? Yo, it's a shiny Feraligator! This is Feraligator, one of the many friends I've made here in the Cluster Jungle. It'll give you a ride to Dorado, but it might seem pretty aggressive, but he's a softy. With his swimming style, going through rabbits would be a Cubs play. Ah, I forgot no, nearly the most important thing. Whenever you'll need its help, you can use this special signpost to call for it. Okay, I gotta rush now, for alligator. Be sure to take care of him, okay? That's a crazy for alligator, bro. He just came out here with a shiny. Ah, I'm Ruta, by the way. Who knows if we shall meet again? Okay, so now I can use these signs, but that's not the same as a Poke West, though. Like. It didn't count as an HM service for the Poke West. It's just that I can call upon him if I wanted to. Well, anyway, let's run in the grass and let's get our encounter here for this cluster jungle. I'm very excited to see what we're gonna find. Uh, let's put someone else in the front for a little bit. Let's get Fibrato some action. Ah, uh, let's get Paper Cut some action, actually. Here in the, no, Fibrato's good because we're in the jungle. There's gonna be grass types. Uh, let's get our encounter. And it's a Gloom. Gloom is gonna be our encounter, a female Gloom. Honestly, not the craziest thing in the world, of course, but you know what? We'll take it. Let's go paper cut. I'll weaken him down and we'll catch her. We'll name her Erica and she can go in the PC for now. A Vile Flume wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. And yeah, honestly, we don't really have a ton of grass types, so I could kind of work with this. I don't think this is the worst thing. And we got the Gloom. Not too shabby there. And like I said, we'll name her after the gym leader, Erica, of course. And it's a poison and grass type Pokemon. We already know all that. Nothing too crazy there. But, you know, could be decent. We don't really have a ton of grass Pokemon um, on the team, so let's keep exploring this jungle. That looks like a Venusaur in the grass. Can I just be real for a second? That 100% looks like there's a Venusaur right there. There's a Crook Rock. Um, we got a Revival Herb, but look at it in the grass right there, that tree. Doesn't that look like a Venusaur? That looks like a Mega Venusaur, bro. I feel like I'm about to battle a Mega Venusaur right now. Hold up. All right, so nothing happens. It's just a plant. Womp womp. All right, let's call upon our Crocky friend here. Yeah, we'll call the Fralligator and we will go to, oh, Dorado Village, I guess. That's it? You just straight up go there? We don't get to explore this place? Is that all we're looking at? There's gotta be more to this jungle than this though. We're gonna run into something bad. There's no way this is just a smooth ride. Maybe it is. Oh yeah, there's more to explore there if you if you keep going. I guess we haven't even explored the cluster jungle. So this is interesting. So we're gonna head to Dorado Village here, which is up ahead. But that means we're not exploring the cluster jungle. I kind of want to explore the jungle. Let me grab that item over there too. So I definitely want to explore the jungle, but my gut is that I probably have to go to the village first. So let's go to the village first and see what's going down here in Dorado Village. This guy just gave me a Cupid ball. I don't know what that is, but thank you, sir. You're very kind. Okay, so here's Historia Cave, and there's also an item over there, which means I probably am gonna get an encounter as well for the city. So let's go grab that item and see if I get an encounter, I guess. Oh, JK, I can't even get to that item. Oh, there's people in here. What's up, dude? Welcome to Historia Cave, a grotto devoted to ancient treasures. I, Fox, will receive my ancestors, the master of an ancient ritual that can bring back the past life. If you need it, it would be an honor for me to put it at your disposal. What do you have there? A space fossil, so you want to use my ritual to regenerate it. Yeah! Yo, we're about to get a fossil? Abracadabra alakazam! This sputnik comes down through your space fossil. 
Oh my God, I don't know what to name him. We're gonna name him Nebula. I really wanna go look at Nebula now. Uh, this is what remains. It might come in handy in the Shailian Temple ruins. There you have. And we're gonna get the space fossils mold. I don't know what's going on, but we just got a fossil. Come again when you have a fossil. I could use an ancient ritual on it. And what do you do? Valuable fossils are guarded on the top floor. Okay, so we can't go through any further. Oh, I guess I can actually. Oh, these are Helix Fossil, Old Amber, all that good stuff. And this guy just gave me a TM. What is that? TM29 Psychic, baby. And guess who gets a nice upgrade there? Terra gets to move Psybeam into Psychic. So we take that. I was hoping it was gonna be Trick Room because I feel like this team would really benefit. Mysterious Egg, oh my God, give me that. Spa oh, here's the Space Fossil and the Print Fossil. That's right. And there's uh, the two different um, fossil Pokemon right there. That's very cool. This is a really neat area. Oh, this guy trades Executor for a Lolan Executor, which is kind of cool. And I got a Pinsir update? What does that do for me? What does the Pinsir update do for me? Oh, it involves Scyther into Scissor. Ooh, I gotta get me one of those. All right, we found the Shaman's Hut. Oh, we can buy things here. Okay, so this is where they sell like Pokeballs, things like that. What about you? You're the Petakato, the shaman. Performing ancient magic rituals, I can restore your Pokemon back to health. Okay. And here's a Porygon Center. So, so this guy will heal us for free, but to use the PC, I gotta pay. Which is honestly not a big deal. Let's, uh, let's take a look at our new space fossil, homie. So here's our Gloom. It's got Chlorophyll. Pretty good bulk overall. Decent moves. Impish Nature is actually pretty solid for it. Um, who else did we just catch? We caught... A Porygon, which is holding the virtual update so we can evolve it straight up into P2. Dude, that is a very big pickup for us. And last but not least, Nebula here is a Sputnik. It is Rock and Psychic. And it's got Analytic, which is pretty solid, although it doesn't have the right ability for that. Rock Throw, Confuse Ray, Psy Wave, and Dive. So very interesting uh, stats and everything. I'm not really sure what to make of this Pokemon, but pretty cool stuff. All right, here's the Cardinal Sanctuary. Let's see what, oh boy. That little rascal again. What has he done now? He's stolen the Cardinal's precious H mineral. Wahaha, you fools. Ah, it's this little guy again. Look who's here. Yeah, I was headed to Dorado too, but we better go talk about this elsewhere. If those stupid guards nipping at my heels are gonna see me in company of a stranger like you, I'm sure they're gonna get you on the robbery. Let's go. Wait, so why are you stealing from these guys though? We should be safe here. So what's your name? You're the dude who just stole stuff though. I'm a resident of Dorado Village too. Well, actually I'm the son of the village chief, the Cardinal Chua. I stole this stone from the sanctuary to try and catch his eye. You know, he's always busy with his full-time job at the Shellian Temple, and he never has time for me. That's how I met this decidui, when I was a little Rowlet, and it was we've been brothers since then, right, buddy? You did a good job training it. But you had nothing to do with this, so you should go to the Cardinal to prove your innocence. I can help you reach him if you want. Take this, you definitely need it to cross the thick jungle forest. I'm not sure how to use it, but from what those old farts in Palace were saying, it allows you to cut down trees in your way. Kyserium H. Okay. Well then, he said, by the way, he said T he, he bought it. So I have a feeling this guy is up to no good. He is trying to trap us in this jungle. So now we're able to brave the dangers of the cluster jungle. All you have to do is head east of Dorado, then breeze with Feraligator's help. Should be a breeze. Yeah, he's up to no good. We're falling into a trap, basically. I, I, I know we're headed towards a trap. So we're gonna, we have cut now, so we can at least move to the next part of the game. Um. So we'll head back, we healed up. We'll head back to the uh, the village, I guess. Or into the, the the jungle, rather. Take me places I've never been before for Relegator! And here we are, here's all of our friends. What's up, guys? What are these sentinels doing here at the entrance? They should protect the temple doors. Get out of here, nobody's getting through without the permission of the master. Master, what are you talking about? I'm the son of the Cardinal, get out of my way. Stay there, we'll have to do this the hard way. You asked for this, a drive. let's give him a lesson. I never said I was gonna battle with you, little little dude. I never said that that was a good idea. He's got a Dropius. Okay, so we know that sound is good against flying. So can I just boom burst this thing into oblivion right now? Yup, <laughs> yes I can. 
<laughs> See you later, Trophy. This is good XP. Yeah, 1800. Very nice. And an Executor. So we have a, a good good Pokemon here. I don't know if this will knock him out. Oh, it does. Yeah, that's what I want to see, dude. Vibrato doing big things here. Very nice. We just beat these guys. And if they have grass types, I'm all about it. So. What's going on? That chowder head of a daddy been doing here. Why do they place these guards to defend the jungle? What do you say, A-Drive? Do you think some villains have to be behind all this? Oh, boy. You're a tough trainer. I'm sure you can find the temple on your own. We're meeting straight there, okay? I know I promised I'd take you to him, but it's different. I must get to him. I have to do it now. Come on, Decidueye. All right, see you later, buddy. I guess I'm going through these guys. I have a feeling that Team Dimension is up to no good. Yeah, we're going to have to battle all of them, aren't we? Okay, well, it is what it is. We've got Fibrato. If they have grass types, then I have a pretty good matchup against that. So let's just see what happens. How dare you enter the jungle, foreigner? Well, uh, your boy's got to get to the cardinal, homie. What do you got? You've got a bay leaf? You better bay leaf it. I use that joke a lot. Don't judge me. All right, we're just going to lava plume him. We should be fine. I should be able to pretty much obliterate any of these trainers if they have... You know, grass type. So we're just gonna get easy levels here. And what else you got? Krokorok. Okay, that's not quite as straightforward. And he does intimidate me. I probably gotta switch against Croc. So let's go out into. Honestly, Lancelot is really good. I resist his dark move. I resist his ground moves. I resist everything he's gonna do to me. So, Lancelot, come on out, buddy. You can take an earthquake like nobody's business. Yeah, eat it up. I'm gonna click U turn because I think we'll. He's gonna sandstorm. We should knock him out here with a U turn, though. Yeah, that's what I thought was gonna happen. See you later, Croc. Ah, oh, we get to use the new Kaizium Z, which is Hollow Scyther. Very nice. Cut them all down, Scyther, do your thing. Very cool. And we found the TM for X Scissor all the way down here, which is pretty dope. And our buddy's chilling over here as well. And you already know what we can do with him. Is there anything down here? No? All right, well, we can battle this guy for some XP. Who do I normally use against him? I think... He's got the Kecleon and then the Meowth usually, so we'll use Paper Cut. Only Harrison's got what you're looking for. What do you got for me? You got a Spell Tag, we'll buy that. Uh, Shed Shell, Light Clay is not a bad pickup. I grabbed that. I always like to grab Lepa Berries. I have some, but always nice to have a few more. I don't think I have any Koba Berries, so we'll grab some of those. Uh, Tanga Berries for Bug Types, probably not gonna use those. And Kevia Berries for poison types. Again, probably not gonna use them, but good to have. And let's steal from the dude. Yes, I will steal from you. I just want your rare candy, sir. I'm just here for the rare candy. All right, you still got your Meowth and your Kecleon? Oh, he does. He's level 46, man. I swear, this guy, he, he didn't quit. He really, he really stuck with it. Um, If I paper cut him though, doesn't he turn into a steel type? I think he does. Uh, yeah, so he becomes a steel type now. He's gonna substitute. Um, I guess we'll just go for the Night Slash then. Should be able to break his sub, no problem. And obviously we have the high crit chance. He's gonna Shadow Claw. Okay, he takes rough skin. It's not bad. And I'll Night Slash again. And it doesn't really do that much. Uh, he's gonna Shadow Claw me again. He's gonna take rough skin one more time. And then I... Honestly, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna heal. Because... He's gonna knock himself out if he touches me, and then I'll be at full health for the next Pokemon. No crits? All right, good. Take yourself out. See you later, Kecleon. And I'll take my nice 2,000 XP, and then here comes the Meowth. Still has a Meowth, hasn't evolved it. And I'll go for Night Slash here. And if we crit him, we'll knock him out. There it is, not bad. I'll take my free rare candy, thank you, Merch. Oh, he gave me a star piece this time. He didn't even give me a rare candy. I came for the rare candy. He didn't even give it to me, bro. What is this? Donanas? I don't know what this thing is. I'm just battling this trainer and he sends out. Oh boy. He just sends out a Donatus. It just got obliterated. I don't know, man. I'll tell you what, this jungle is a massive maze though. I am looking everywhere. I think I've found the way to get out of here, but I'm also trying to make sure I don't miss stuff. So I'm just gonna keep on training up as I've been and see what happens. I'll put paper cut in the front, heal up a little bit. We'll just keep going. But I'll tell you what, this place is crazy, bro. This is a huge maze. All right, we found the den for Trish out, or not Trish out, Shy Leon. So that's on this side of the forest. So I think I know exactly where to go to get to kind of the objective, I guess. So, cause I found it earlier. So we just have to head back there. All right, I think we found the temple. I'm not gonna use any more repels. Yeah, this is definitely it. We have definitely found it. Oh, this looks sick though. 
All right, so I probably should throw down another repel. That's a carnivine. And here it is, the big temple. And there is our friend up top. Okay, so assuming I have to battle him, let's actually put Raiden in the front. And let's see what he's gonna, he's just deciduous on top of the temple, so. Things here are getting worse than I expected. Those sentinels don't wanna listen. Oh, A-Drive, I knew you'd be okay. You see, A-Drop, I didn't bring here to prove your innocence to daddy. Quite the opposite, actually. I wanted him to accuse you of my misdeeds so I could strengthen my bond with him. A problem halved is a problem solved, right? His role has always been his priority, but what if I brought you, brought him the culprit of the H mineral theft? He'd have to come think more highly of me for sure. But what, I can't do this. What would daddy feel about his son being a liar? This whole thing too. If dad really is in trouble, I'd never be able to help him all by myself. Bro, you got you got some issues, man. This kid's got some issues. Ruto, what are you doing, man? I don't I don't know how I'm supposed to believe you. I'll help you, but bro, you got issues, man. I'm a good person, I know. I know the temple like an owl knows its tree, so I'll go ahead. You make sure to knock down all those sentinels and watch for traps. I'll see you inside. Oh my god, I gotta go explore this entire thing, dude. This is gonna be crazy, bro. Shyleon Temple. So we're gonna just explore the whole temple right now, it seems. Let's do it. Do I have to battle all these dudes? Oh yeah, we're gonna battle them all. Well, might as well get the XP, let's do it. All right, this dude's out here with a scissor. Like, we really playing that game today? We really sending out scissors? That's what we're doing? All right, well, let's see what he's got. He's gonna iron defense, that's fine. Pretty sick Pokemon though. I love me some scissor, man. What a great mon. I'll lava plume him and kind of roast him into oblivion. See you later. And then I just have one guy left. The last guy had a sick lift, so he was pretty easy. And let's see what this last guy has. Oh, I got the Shalion mask. Oh, well that was convenient. I think that's what we needed. Yeah, I think I just have to go through this temple and just beat all the guys as I go. That's just, just what it's gonna be guys. So I'll keep battling them. Luckily we're like really at a good level to make this not too bad at all. Otherwise, this would honestly be a struggle if I had to like, if I wasn't such a high level, I, I think this this whole part of the game would be very frustrating. But luckily, like I said, our team is at a pretty good spot and we should be in decent shape to beat all the trainers at the very least. What What's at the end of this temple? Well, I guess we'll find out soon enough, but for now, I feel okay. We could just one shot everything for the most part. I have no idea what type this Donanas thing is because he's not weak to my flying moves, I have no idea what type he is. Very confused. Here's an Executor though, we should be able to beat this. Oh, I just realized that was a very bad decision. Oh, he bullet seeds. If he went for Psychic, I think he knocks me out there. We had our attack drop because of drop kick, but I think we're good. All right, I'm gonna heal after this battle and I think we're at the end of the temple, so we'll see what it's in store for us. And we got TM53 Energy Ball, that's a nice pickup. Is this where we put the mask? When it's holding up the sky, this room will only respond to the presence of a mask, deep red in color. It's the Shalion mask. The text on the still has changed. Bringing back the roof of the sky to its order, you will disguise your face in the blue. So four, one, two, three. Four, one, two, three. Three, three, two, two, one. Three, three, two, two, one. One, two, three, four, three, one, two, four, four. Oh, I got it. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, I can Herculeum over here. There's another dude over there. I don't know where I'm supposed to do or go, but we'll take this, I guess. The Shalion mask. Oh, I got a blue Shalion mask now. Oh my God, this is intense, dude. Oh boy. So here is a, uh, a PC, a Porygon Center to turn on to heal. And that makes me very concerned that we are about to do something shenanigan wise, but let's see what's up in head here. Uh, let's put a paper cut in the front, I guess. Are any of these things anything? No. There's an Alakazam, is that our friend? How do I get to the Alakazam? Oh, there's another room over here, okay. Yes, I can use my face in blue and access this room. And there's definitely something behind this wall. Yeah, we'll send in Trish out. All right, so this is a Venusaur den. So one of these Venusaur 
has something for us. I, do I have to legit just guess every single one of them? I don't really know. Everything is a Venusaur, so I think I have to check every single one of them to see what we're supposed to do here. There it is, the old Miracle Seed. Legit the last one I talked to, go figure, right? And TM48 round? Meh. That's a Pokemon I do not recognize. Here you will have to plant an old life. Do you want to insert the old Miracle Seed? Yeah, sure. Uh... Oh, there's a green mask now. So we've gotten all three Shalion masks, which is very cool. Something happened in the main room. Well, let's go take a look. Now there's a big Alakazam in front of me. Those unsolvable riddles have been protecting the Shalion Temple for Snatchers for a millennia! How do the foreigner like you solve them? Alakazam, it's our sworn duty to take him down now! Kazam! I thought this was gonna be the dude who helps us around sometimes. But I guess we're battling an Alakazam. Level 46 Alakazam. I got your boy Paper Cut out here though. So I believe in Paper Cut. I'm gonna just click Night Slash. We're just gonna crit him and knock him out in one hit. Or not. He's got Psychic. We eat that, gets a spin F drop, but we're faster. So I should be okay here, finish him off. Paper Cut's so good. Al Alakazam's a scary mon, but Paper Cut, top tier. Let's get it, dude. All right, and we got a level there. All right, oh, let me heal. I'm right here, I might as well heal. Okay, what do I do now? Uh, I think I just need the three masks, probably. Would you like to place the red mask here? Yeah, so I have to put the three masks in the spots, I think. We're about to do something, guys. I don't know what's about to happen, but I'm very nervous, and I'll tell you what, this is this might be the longest episode of the series, by the way. I really wanted to get to some sort of a conclusion this episode, so we've just been recording for a long time. If you haven't smashed the like button yet, do it right now for whatever's about to show up. Let's get it, team. Woo! Oh, it opened up the door. Okay, I guess I'm going through. Ta-da! Oh boy! Hey, don't move! Oh, it's my friend. Those Sentinels were a real waste of time. We can't waste any more A-Drive. I gotta see this thing through and quickly. He just ran ahead, okay. Do I wish to proceed? I guess so. Ah, oh, there he is! All right, I'm gonna leave with Ryoku. There he is, Victor is here. We have visitors, I see. Daddy! What a surprise, A-Drive. What are you doing here? What have you been doing here? Tone it down, Pest. This is a sacred place, you know. Bro! The wheels are turning right now! Wait, is that his dad? Hmm, <laughs> Roserade. What is that Roserade? That's the sickest Roserade I've ever seen! Oh no, Decidueye! You all right, buddy? You sure cry a lot for being the son of a cardinal. Bro, he is a cardinal! Corruption, baby. You know, kid, it was thoughtful of your father to host us at this temple. He has, oh, it's not, it's not his father, okay. He has even volunteered to open the Xeno Gate for us. Allow me to say he's such an excellent landlord. Liar, dad would never help bad guys like you. Huh. Actually, some outside help was required to make him cooperate without a fuss. This magnificent Roserade from the Xenoverse. With its sublime melody, it's enchants everyone standing here at the temple, including the Cardinal. That's his dad, got it. I thought the, the evil dude was his dad for a second. I'm like, wow, that's crazy, but okay, we're good with it now. We're good with it now. Thereby, we are able to initiate our plan to achieve the X energy. Yikes, dog. Nevertheless, that kid would be willing to make deals with the devil himself in order to increase his power. Right now, he is inside the portal looking for that dark energy for our behalf. According to the schedule, he'll soon come out and thus Team Dimension will have both energies at its disposal. Two chosen ones are undoubtedly better than one. Don't you agree, A-Drive? 
Anyway, there isn't much you can do here. Even if you were to break these savages out of the spell, our plan would still succeed. Assuming you can get a chance against this Roserade, of course. A drive, I beg of you, please do something. It's that Pokemon who's made Dad like this. Roserade, get rid of him. Well, here we go. I'm very scared. I'm very scared for this one. Please don't be like level 80. This thing looks amazing though. Level <sighs> Every time, bro, every time I see these levels, it just blows my mind. All right, um, I kind of want to Toxic him, but I have no idea what type he is. He could be like Poison. So he's Sound Side, we know he's Sound Side. Let's Dragon Breath. He's gonna bet a shot, he's definitely Poison. Holy damage. I don't get the paralysis. How is that Venishot gonna do that much though? Like real talk. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go paper cut and then I'm gonna swap out. I'm gonna predict the Venishot this time. He goes for X's, so that's fine. That's fine. Rough skin, baby. That's the plays. That's the plays. Okay, Scarfosmo here is the play, guys. I feel like Scarfosmo is kind of a secret tech right now because I resist poison and I resist sound. Toxic spikes. That's not what I want to see. Okay. Well, listen, my play here is I think I Thunderbolt. Actually, Psychic could be super effective. Hyper Voice. That does a lot, but we resist. We've seen three of his moves. Oh, that's the damage I want to see, Scarfosmo. All right. I'm going to Psychic again. He's going to Hyper Voice me again. Oh, we knocked him very low. Scarfosmo, you are a monster, dude. Literally. Literally. X Scissor. That's not an issue. I think we can catch this one. Xeno Ball. Let's go, Scarfosmo with the save. Yo, legit. That thing would have wrecked me if I didn't have Scarfosmo. Think about it. If he Toxic Spikes my entire team, he has a way to hit super effectively against Paper Cut because he has sound moves. His Venishock was going to do half damage to Rio. He legit wins if I don't have Scarfosmo on the team. So you know what? I'll take it. He's Sound Poison. It's waves. It stings uh, to modify any sound wave at will. It will interfere with its opponent's heartbeat. It will cause them irreparable harm. This thing is incredible, dude. We're going to nickname it. And we're gonna name him, we're gonna name him Romeo. And we'll send him to the PC, but man, that's sick. Apparently you made some progress since our last meeting, but you won't disrupt our business here. While you were dealing with Roserade, our operation has successfully come to its conclusion. Oh boy. I'm just glad I got that Roserade though. Can we talk about that? Uh, what happened? Up, uh, I'm right here. Well, here's the deal, guys. We're gonna find out what happened on the next episode of Pokemon Xenoverse. If you haven't destroyed that like button, trust me, I wanna know too, but we're gonna wait. I don't wanna do a super long recording because this is my first recording since I fixed my computer. Uh, hit that like button if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Get excited, because we're gonna throw down Xenoverse and find out what is next now that we got this incredible X Roserade. We'll find out soon. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget that like goal, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to check out this one right here. Otherwise, this one's pretty awesome too. Check out one of these two videos and I'll see you guys next time.